A blessed day to everyone. Today is November 21, 2022. I'm Sister Bobot Arpello and I would like to encourage you through God's Word. Our topic today is Give God the Glory. According to John chapter 15, verse 8, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciple. Praise God for the reading of his word. There is an old full gospel tradition that says, God gets glory from the wonderful way his children bear pain and agony, and that the world is impressed by that. What a lie! That's simply a tool of the devil to keep God's children in bondage. People of the world already have all the pain and agony they went they want. They aren't they aren't looking for a way into it. They are looking for a way out. They don't care what you preach. It's the religious people who get worried about that. The world the sinners are smarter than that. All they care about are the results. That's why they'll come to your church. They'll come to your church when they bear peop when they hear people are getting healed, delivered, and set free from suffering. That's what they're looking for, and that's what God wants them. To receive. The Bible says that God gets glory when they see the lame walk and the blind see. Matthew 15 verse 31. Jesus said, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. John 15 verse 8. What is that fruit? Lives being restored and healed by the power of God. There was a man who came, who came to one of our healing meetings who was so far gone with cancer, he had almost no energy or life about him. He didn't even know the Lord, but he came expecting a miracle during the miracle service, the Lord told Ken someone was being healed of cancer in the glands, in the throat, and in the chest. When the man came up and received his healing, he said, I left the hospital this morning with cancer and I am healed. He went back to the hospital that afternoon and the doctors checked and dismissed him. As a result, the man received Jesus as his Lord, and later that day he was restored to his wife, whom he's, he'd been separated from. He got born again, healed, and his marriage put back together in one day. Now, that's fruit that brings, brings God glory. When we minister healing and deliverance like Jesus on the earth, that brings God glory. Let's do away with religious tradition and go with the word says. Let's impress the world with Jesus and give God the glory today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for showing your miracles to your people. Thank you for healing those who are sick. Thank you for delivering, delivering your people from the bondage of sins. And this is what glorifies the Lord. When people are being saved, getting healed, and being restored back to Him. So it is the, the plan of God for us to receive a life that is full of 
spirit-filled meaning. He wanted us to enjoy life. He wanted us to uh, be free from sicknesses and diseases. He wanted us to have a life that is pleasing unto Him. As we remain in Him, as we remain in His Word, we would always enjoy the fruit that He wanted us to, to experience. So, the devil who is the destroyer and the killer is a deceiver and it is not the will of God for us to get sick. That is why we need to claim the healing power of God. We need to claim the restoration for broken relationships. And this is what glorifies the Lord. If we are uh, being restored to one another, broken relationships that are being restored back to Him. So God gets the glory every time the result is good. That is why as we continue to minister to the people, continue to share the Word of God to people who needs salvation, who needs healing, who needs a restoration of broken relationships. We need to show them that there is power in the name of Jesus. God will do miracles so that people will come to Him, so that people will be restored back to Him. So let us thank God for the miracle healing, for the uh, things that the Lord is uh, showing us because he gets the glory and his name is glorified. A blessed day to everyone and may God bless us all. To God be all the glory.